Yes, welcome to my channel. As in the previous videos, I told you what is data entry, what are the causes, what are the symptoms, how do doctors diagnose that you are suffering from data entry, whether it's a mebek or it's parasitic. Uh, once you're diagnosed, then what are the treatment options? Uh, so the main uh, symptom of the uh, this uh, data entry is that lose motions, uh, diarrhea. So as a result, you uh, lose a lot of water. So it can cause dehydration, which is the main complication of the uh, dysentery. And maybe abdominal cramps or blood in the stool, which uh, means that uh, the parasites or the mebus have caused ulcers in the, in the intestine, whether it's small or large intestine. So the treatment options are that uh, to avoid the dehydration, uh, you should drink plenty of water. Uh, and uh, use the oral uh, rehydration solutions known as ORS. Uh, eat uh, when you are able to, but don't force yourself, but keep drinking a uh, lot of fluids. And if you have diarrhea and vomiting, you should drink plenty of fluids to replace those you have lost and avoid the dehydration. And take small and frequent sips of water. And it's very important that uh, the babies and the small children do not become dehydrated and you should make sure that uh, your child takes frequent sips of water even if they vomit, doesn't matter, but uh, try to keep them well hydrated. So taking a small amount of fluid is better than taking a uh, lot uh, uh, of fluid at one, any one time. So avoid giving your uh, uh, child the fruit juices or the fizzy drinks, simply give the plain water or mix with the ORS. And in severe cases, uh, you may need uh, uh, the like IV fluids uh, to cover the, to control the dehydration. And uh, uh, if your child is dehydrated, uh, you should avoid giving them uh, any solid food until they have uh, drunk the enough fluids and once they have stopped uh, like uh, showing signs of dehydration for example they have become less irritable and started passing uh, urine more frequently your child can start to eat uh, their normal soft diet and if your child is not dehydrated you should uh, offer them uh, the normal diet and if they refuse to eat continue to offer them drinks and uh, uh, wait uh, until their appetite returns uh, in most of the cases, uh, uh, they last for a very short period of time and you don't need medication. And the only uh, medication you need is the ORS and uh, drink plenty of water. Uh, but uh, uh, sometimes you may need antibiotics. Uh, if it's uh, uh, bacterial uh, dysentery and uh, overuses of the antibiotics to treat the like minor uh, illnesses can make them less effective and it makes you more resist bacteria become resistant so it's not advised that you uh, take antibiotics for minor reasons unless the, uh, the doctor advises you to do so so if you have uh, the moderate to severe dysentery it is caused by the Shigella bacteria the antibiotics may be recommended to shorten the length of the sickness and the number of different antibiotics can be used including ciprofloxacin uh, in case of the amoebic dysentery if you have this one uh, your gp may prescribe you the antibiotic called metronidazole so this is a, is a special antibiotic which, which affects the uh, acts on the parasites or the amoebas and they will let you know how long you need to take it for which is usually uh, be around seven to five, uh, around five days. And uh, there's another medication, uh, we call it uh, uh, tinidazole, uh, is a possible alternative medication. And after you have finished taking the antibiotics, you should be given a course of uh, like uh, diloxanoid. So it's the medicine that kills uh, uh, the more resistant amoebic uh, cysts, which are found inside the body. So, and uh, so they do not spread to the liver and uh, other parts. And you will need to take this medication for about 10 days. But it's only in severe cases. Uh, the complications, uh, it can cause dehydration. And this is the main complication. It can cause the liver abscesses or liver cysts. 
uh, it can cause a loss of appetite, uh, low energy, uh, liver abscesses. I saw. So these are the common complications. Uh, they can be prevented. Yes. Uh, to minimize the risk of catching this condition, you should uh, wash your hands with the soap, especially when you are on holidays. Uh, but you should uh, make it your habit to wash the hands before eating anything or after the toilet. Uh, wash your hands before handling babies, uh, avoid sharing the towels, uh, wash the laundry of an infected person at the high temperature. And uh, if you are going to holidays, uh, uh, make sure that you don't drink tap water there. Don't use ice in your water. Uh, and uh, make sure that you, uh, you eat the fruits which uh, can be peeled. Okay. Uh, some fruits like strawberries and all these type of fruits you should not use there. Because uh, if you, the fruits which can be peeled like uh, the mangoes or the melons or uh, apples you know so they are safe but even though you should wash your if you're uh, with the bottled water before eating those foods and uh, uh, try not to eat uh, from the outside especially the street foods so thank you very much for watching this video and please do not forget to like subscribe or share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website thank you Goodbye.